So when we're looking at scatter graphs, we're looking out for an elliptical shape, okay? Keep that in mind. Now, in all of these three cases, you could be forgiven for thinking uh, that the data is roughly elliptical, in which case we could go on and perform our PMCC hypothesis test later on down the line, okay? But um, at this stage, what we want to think about is, well, is the data roughly elliptical? Well, let's look at this data here first, okay? Now, you can be forgiven for thinking that it's roughly elliptical because I could draw an ellipse around it, which seems to contain all of the data, but because you've got these kind of like two islands situation appearing here, it looks like there are two distinct groups at work. Now, this might be, uh, for example, um, it could be, um, let's say, uh, height and, I don't know, IQ, for example, um, for two different age groups. So, for example, this might be for uh, five-year-olds, for example. So, uh, you, th you would think that height and IQ are not related, okay? So, you would assume that the taller someone is, the, it's not the case that their IQ would be higher, right? So, if you look at this in isolation, this might be five-year-olds where there is pretty much no correlation. And this could represent maybe 20-year-olds. You would expect them to be taller, you would expect them uh, to have higher IQs than five-year-olds, okay? So, in isolation, you would expect that to be the case, that they would be further along in both respects, but you would also expect that neither height, or IQ, height and IQ to be uh, positively correlated. You would expect no correlation between the two. So, you could ha actually have two distinct groups where there is no correlation, but when plotted together, it looks like there is a positive correlation. Okay? So that's where you can be misled by the data if you're not careful. Let's take a look at this set here. Now, it looks like it could almost be elliptical, but the problem is that you're relying on a few... Uh, outliers to form that uh, ellipse. So if I just remove those three data points and all your other data points are here, it looks actually that there is actually no correlation. So from first sight, you can have the case that it looks like there's a positive correlation, but that's only based on a few um, entries. Okay, so a few bits of data. In a similar way, in this, you can have this kind of funneling thing going on. So it looks like, although you've got a relatively little correlation here, as one is increasing further, the other is increasing, uh, that it's funneling towards that. However, again, you can be uh, put off by the fact that actually you've only got two data points there. So just removing those two, you can kind of see that the rest of it doesn't look elliptical at all. So you can have this kind of these situations where the data could look roughly elliptical, but upon further inspection, um, the data probably doesn't fit it. Okay, so there are no kind of um, absolutes here. That's why actually drawing the graph, plotting the data, is a very important part of understanding whether the statistics that you're going to uh, do on the data is actually going to make any sense.